So I wanted to talk about nostalgia and what it means to me and how it relates to me playing Toontown. Because my story started when I started playing in late 2003 and then actually having my own account in 2004 and and playing all through that. And I was seven or eight years old at that point. So I was really young. So it was with me all throughout, you know, my formative years. And I might not have played it super consistently, but the fact of the matter is the game was there in my life from seven to 17 to today. And I don't know if there's, if there's, you know, I, I guess it, nostalgia is kind of a driving motivator as to why I've never left the game, but I guess, you know, growing up with the game and playing it all throughout my life, I guess that kind of makes the game stay with you. And it's probably what happened with a lot of people. Maybe not as long of a time frame as mine, but, you know, playing it when you're 12 and then playing it for several years and then, you know, having that stick around and having the inability to just leave it behind. I think also the fact of the matter is, is Toontown is an MMO, so that means you can spend a lot of time playing it. If it's your first time, you're probably not going to just speed straight through the game unless you're, you know, that versed enough to do it or you look up how to do it right away. But in most cases, when we're a kid and we play Toontown, we're probably not going to speed straight through it. So we can spend months or even years getting through the game. I'm gonna I'm gonna just be honest, like I spent multiple years like getting to like 110. It took me a very long time to get to where I even ended up leaving off, and I didn't even get that far. It was only 120 laugh. I had played since 2004 on my character. I was only 120 laugh when the game closed down. That is nine years that I could have been playing. I didn't play for the whole nine years. There was there were stretches where I took like literal year or years off, but the opportunity to play it was there in a way, and I only got to 120 laugh. But what I'm trying to say is, I feel like probably because we spend all that time playing it and we spend i guess that much time with it we we come to i mean basically if you if you spend all that time playing it you're gonna have to be somebody that enjoys it first off because nobody's gonna play it that long and be like wow this this game sucks <laughs> wow here i am two years later still playing this game i hate i mean it's pretty obvious that if people stick around and play it for enough time it's a game they like. So first off, there's that. But also, I, I guess, I feel like playing a game for that long and having it be such an impact on, on your life because you've you spent so much time playing it, it makes it hard to just let it go. You don't want to... Humans are adverse to change, so we don't want to, like, let things go. When Toontown Rewritten came around, I didn't think it was really going to be anything necessarily. Um, and then I started developing, and there was a chance for me to play in beta, and I did, and I enjoyed it, and I got the hookup from my main man Scoots. <laughs> I, I knew him from back in the day, and he gave me a beta key. Uh, cause I, I begged him for one. Thanks, Scoots, if you ever hear this. Hope that doesn't get you in trouble. I mean, it was a long time ago. It was, uh, oh, I guess four years ago. Was it four years ago? Something like that. Anyways, the game comes back, and you don't want to let it go. It's, it's, a uh, the game has such a unique vibe. It was all about happiness. Like, there's just a good vibe to the game. Like, there, I could never just get over the art style of the game. I know, like, it's really low quality, and not very high poly at all, but the fact of the matter is, it's like, I don't know, I I enjoyed the vibe of Toontown Central, I enjoyed the colorful walls and the cheery music and all the tunes running around in the playground and, you know, all these people having to get blackboard erasers even though, you know, how many, how many blackboard erasers do you need, HQ person? But I guess what I'm trying to discuss and mention is, I guess I feel like nostalgia is kind of the reason I'm here because uh I near the end of Toontown Online's life I wasn't playing that much I really wasn't um I that was probably the biggest time frame that I didn't play was from 2010 to 2013 when it closed there was probably the least amount of time in a three-year stretch that I played the game in that time frame so at that point, I was starting to get really into the idea of YouTube. I was watching YouTubers play games, and I was like, wow, I would, you know, really like to do this. Um, and I, I didn't know what market to kind of enter. I didn't know, well, I mean market, but I didn't know what kind of channel I would be. But something about the idea 
of playing my Toontown character and having an identity. I was going to do it. I made the channel in 2012 with the idea in mind that I was going to start doing stuff on it as a YouTuber back on Toontown Online. Um, obviously, I didn't start really doing actual content until well into Toontown Rewritten, but I was going... Well, I made the channel in mind of being a Toontown Online YouTuber of sorts, I guess. Um, and the only reason I decided to do that was because it was a game I was so comfortable with. It was a game that I thought probably wasn't very covered at that point. And at 2012, I don't know how many people were around. I mean, Coach Z was probably around, right? But how many people were actually playing the game or making videos on it? Like, I probably would have had a pretty good lane to enter in that, maybe? You know, DJ YC, was he around in 2012? I'm not sure. I wasn't, I didn't actually watch any of the YouTubers at that point, so I don't know how, like, how many people were doing it, but I don't think there were too many. Um, now, how good that content would have been and my ability to pull that off, that's uh, completely another question. Actually, to be honest, I I have video of my original tune. You know what? I'll, I'll put some of it up. I took last second video of my tunes on Toontown Online when I heard the game was closing, but that was in 2013. It wasn't around 2012, so I still don't know how possible it was. Um, but regardless, the reason I went to Toontown and made this channel was nostalgia. I wanted... I, I can't... I couldn't leave the game. Like, I just... I couldn't let go of it. Even though I was... 16 or 17 at that point i was you know a decent age where like you know i've i've played it for seven or eight years i played it for you know two times my lifespan or an another time I, I i played it from seven to eight and then i played it for seven eight years a an extra you know life okay whatever anyways my point is i just couldn't let the the game go for some reason i couldn't give up on it and i couldn't just it wasn't that I couldn't, but it's just something always kept bringing me back to the game, and I I guess it's just the vibe, I guess it's the memories of it, because I had a good time, I would always play with friends, I would always do jokey stuff. I wasn't, for a long time, I didn't even do, uh, like, a real tasky stuff. I would always take time off to hang around in estates and do a bunch of jokey stuff and just talk to friends and and uh, slack off uh, <laughs> and not actually, you know, progress my tune, which is probably what contributed to me taking so long to even get as far as I did. And this isn't even a topic that I haven't covered before. I think I've mentioned this uh, a few times, and I always have trouble trying to express what I'm, tr like, truly wanting to say. I don't know why, but it, there's just something about the game of Toontown that always brings me back. And I feel like that's kind of just the reason probably why it's still around, why it's not dead. A bunch of us grew up with it. So there, there's been a good few amount of people that I've seen that said they're, you're, they're, brand new to the game or they recently got into the game which is really surprising because i don't i don't see toontown as a game that people would get super excited about at least people that are 16 plus i, I wouldn't see them just getting into it but you know they they do there there are people that genuinely get introduced to the game and the community still gets new people i wouldn't say it's growing but it does get new people but i was streaming at 11:30, almost 12 and there's still over 2,000 people online which is a lot for a private server if you look at private servers of other games 2,000 people is not a number to be sad about that is a very very decent number and that was at 11:30. it was kind of late i guess it was a friday night though but it still it's not a number to just scoff at and during the daytime, I'm sure it gets up near 3,000, maybe. So, there's still a player base. There's still foundational players still in the game. And I'm just saying, I guess nostalgia... I guess I feel like nostalgia is the, the reason people come back and people still play it. Um, I made a video at one point called Why Do You Still Play Toontown? And I guess it's kind of the same thing. But I find myself being, like, really in, like, a nostalgic mood at night some at, at times and it just keeps flowing through my mind and it's always a topic that i'm wanting to talk about so i figured you know what let's make a discussion video about it so is nostalgia kind of the contributing reason to why you still play toontown i know a lot of you don't even play toontown anymore which is really cool that you stick around and watch my content i really appreciate that but for those of you that still play is is growing up with the game or playing the game for a while in your life and having that nostalgia and not wanting to let this game go the reason why you still play 
and do you experience that relentless i take a break i come back i take a break i come back and the game just always pulls you back like a super strong magnet do you guys experience that leave it in the comments and let's start a discussion so i just want to say thank you all for watching and i appreciate you guys sticking around for all this time and i'll see you all next time in my next video